Uh, in the meantime, in the co-host seat is my husband, Woo! Mr. Kevin Undergaro. This is our first podcast together, honey, as husband and wife. As being consciously coupled. Yeah, I almost said, I almost had Steve Harvey say that because they're like, how would you like us to introduce you? And I'm like, well, I didn't take his last name only because I didn't know how to do all of that last minute because this whole thing went down in two weeks. And when we were getting the marriage license, I'm like, wait, do I have to go to the DMV and change everything? I don't have time to do all this. All right, we'll deal with it later. And they're like, well, what are we going to call you guys, Mr. and Mrs.? I go, husband and wife. I go, or you could just say the consciously coupled couple. (laughs) (laughs) But um, no, we didn't do that. But, uh, But what I wanted to talk about today on the show, and you'll hear how the wedding went down and all of the moments, including a bridezilla moment I had, which I'm totally admitting to, guys. Uh, is I want to talk about what could have been just for fun for a second, because Kevin proposed to me on the Howard Stern show, shocked me to pieces. And after 19 years at that point of dating, we got engaged. Now we're coming up on our 20th anniversary this April. Holla. Holla. And, <laughs> and so I'm actually really impressed that it didn't take us 20 more years to get married. Cause I really did think that was going to happen. Um, but Kevin was also now planning a surprise wedding. Who knows how that would have gone down. However, Kevin, take us through at what point you decided you were going to surprise me with the wedding and then all the twists and turns from there. It was before surgery. It was actually pretty much when we were deep into your mother's cancer. And I said, okay, we got to get this ball on the road, this show on the road. And for my mom's sake. Yeah, because of your mom. We didn't know what the future held for her. And um, and then I was planning something. You know, I said, God, it's going to be something big, fun, but easy. we got to get this done. So I got Howard. I think the Howard thing would be perfect. And then I believe you were diagnosed as I was thinking of the idea. Mm-hmm. And then I said, oh, my goodness. So um, I said, I definitely need to do it on Howard because... The whole world will be able to join in on the wedding. Um, we'll get it done. You know, your parents will get to see it. And uh, and then we'll have a big party afterwards, and it'll be great. So I t- started with a discussion with Beth Stern and Howard, and then they turned me over to their producers. They loved the idea, but as it, as it unfolded, the, con- the producers were concerned, you know, how do we make this entertaining, not knowing that, my God, we've been on the show four times. We've always come through. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, we did the you have. Embarrassing me well, and torturing me. We've Go had ahead. a lot of fun. Yes, we have. Um, so Many times I thought my life was over. <laughs> so, I was in, so I found myself in a negotiation of sorts with them because they wanted Wendy the, Wendy the slow adult, formerly Wendy the retard, to be your maid of honor. Stop it. Fred the Stop elephant it. boy. No, I didn't. By the way, I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah. I only know like the vague overlying like idea. So she was going to be my maid of honor? Yes. Well, and she, you were going to be okay with Alyssa no, having no, my maid of honor? No, no. I pushed back. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> and I said, I said, guys, we can have all of that. Like I want it to be, I, I live in the Stern universe. And I think I said to him, like the whack packers, I say, are there any whack packers you hate? I'm like, I'd have no. them all live at my house if I could. I'm like, I love that. And they they love that. And yeah. I said, I, and, when you and, told me the idea, I was like, oh my God. It was like shocking. But then I was like, oh, that would have been fun. <laughs> but, but they, um, but again, it was, there's a balance. I, yeah. I said, listen, you know, guys, I know to you guys, it's, it's funny and all, you know, you make, you make humor every day, but I don't know if you realize the impact of your show and how many people just live for the Howard Stern mm-hmm. show and how much it means to them. I said, it means so much to Marie and I. And our we, relationship. We yeah. would listen to you guys in the basement when we had nothing. I said, so it's so important for us to do this here. I said, but at the end of the day, you know, I also, you know, this isn't a joke. I, this is my, the love of my life. This is our wedding. So we have to balance it off and have some gravitas. So that's I'm why. I'm glad I, that you were taking it seriously, uh, boo. So I was fighting for, you know, John Legend. I wasn't fighting for it, but I was going to have John Legend do music. I was actually. Wait, did he agree? No, I hadn't gotten that far. Oh, Maria, okay. <laughs> because we wanted to lock a date. Yeah. So we were going to lock a date. We, we, they loved the idea of Kathy Lee. Um, mm-hmm. either doing oh, the wait, vows. My favorite, or- by the way, is like not long ago, Kevin comes to me and he goes, so who are like your favorite musicians? Yeah. <laughs> and I go, oh, this isn't obvious. <laughs> I go, well, 
you know, John Legend. I mean, I started just naming names off. Bon mm-hmm. Jovi, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we talked about um, uh, Axel. Uh, oh my! But but they but like please please don't make us do it because he's just he's very difficult. Oh, <laughs> that's what they I said. Don't out them. Well, I don't think they care. I mean, everyone knows he is. You okay, know. Go ahead. Um, but anyway, so so this is all going along, and and you know, if you're a fan of Howard, you know he and Kathy Lee have been at odds forever. Mm-hmm. They, she they've made their amends, but she's never been on the show. So I was gonna have her either marry us mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. sing as well. And um, so all this was in play, and literally two weeks ago or a week ago, whatever it was, I was had a, a conference call set with Gary Delabate to finalize a date in March. Baba Booey. And then you call yeah. and say, hey, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I, I know you might want to kill me, married. but this is going to happen. And I'm like, oh, damn, it's going to look like we traded up. Yeah, like he was that, mortified. And I'm like, and I don't even, I don't think that's and a And then I wouldn't up. let him tell me what it was. He's like, I have something in play. Oh my God, they're going to freak out. I go, I don't want to know. This is what's going to happen. I'm so sorry. I love you. But I've already told them we're doing it. I can't pull back now. And then I think it was like two or three I days think, Maria, I have to me. tell you because yeah. I need, to, you have to advise me. And this is the king of all media. Like yeah. this is my idol. This is, a, you know, and, and, uh, and I don't want to make it look like, oh, we're going to go to a better place because no. it wasn't a better place. Like Howard is Howard. I mean, it's just legend. There's just yeah. no one bigger that, you know, than when but you think of that was, show. this ended up being exactly what it was supposed to be. 100% worked and out. And they were amazing and they gave us their well, blessing. Beth and... Stern had said, texted me midway through my <laughs> negotiations like do you really want to do this kevin it's Thank her God wedding <laughs> she was like i you know and then when i explained i said beth listen we've been together for 20 years and you know it's we we have multiple brain tumors maria's not even working i'm like i cannot i don't want to go to some chapel and make it nothing and i also don't want to have some big giant event that we have to put together i'm like so actually it's perfect it's yeah. a, as long as it was going to be done right which it would have been. Yeah. We would have been a balance between humor. I would have made it made it entertaining, but also would have made mm-hmm. it special. And um and anyway Well you did that with your vows, Boo. So yes. you know a lot of people still don't realize that Kevin paid homage to Howard Stern by quoting Baba Booey, Gary Dalapate's <laughs> conversation with his girlfriend from years ago. And so when he was doing it, I was like, Oh my God, I'm so cold. And he's wasting our vows right now. <laughs> I can't even your, believe he's doing this to your me. Your face was amazing. I, you can see me. I'm looking at. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing right now? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then when he shifted, it, what he said in the shift was so perfect and so beautiful. But it was like I was like, okay. And of course, then Howard the next day is like, he's a genius. That was amazing, and it really was. It was amazing. So you do know how to find a balance. Well, but you know the balance. It's but the Stern wedding would have been super fun. Do you think I'm a wacko for thinking that would be fun, Lauren? No, I think that you're brilliant for thinking it would be fun. <laughs> I was wondering what you guys thought Steve Harvey thought of the whole Baba Booey unto you thing. Did he know what was going I on at all? I have no idea. We didn't talk to him after because everybody just fled the scene to get warm. I think he was freezing. <laughs> the poor guy was suffering so bad. And he was confused when he got the Baba Booey onto you. <laughs> I was confused. everybody. I didn't know what was happening because it was just it just happened. And then as I realized it, because he kept going, I remembered the speech. You know what, Maria? And I was like, I can't believe he's doing this. I to think me. the Gary speech, believe it or not, was so accurate because I d- yeah. was afraid of the commitment word. My professional life was annoying when we met. <laughs> it really was. And so, and the way funny. I was able to say, but you know what? We got X, Y, you know, I got so much more, blah, 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 that it seemed normal. Yeah, that's why people didn't get so it. So people don't realize it was <laughs> all Gary Delabate quotes from that famous tape. Yeah. I was it, afraid of the big C word, the commitment word. Annie, do you feel different? I have to ask you as this time is ticking away. I, I just love saying my wife. I feel like such an important person. I feel like such an adult. Really? Uh, excuse me, I my, feel like my that wife. I got engaged. I felt like a woman finally. Like when you proposed and I had a. Ra- I actually felt like more of a woman. It, it just. Weird, I don't know. But... It just seems so cool to be able to be like, you know, my wife. <laughs> oh my God. My wife's always on me about that too. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. I feel like I'm so in the click of like normal people adults oh my god just wait till the kids come oh my god my kids are brilliant i have the best kids ever 
Oh, we bragging about our kids. But, but you know, I, we say kids because of our AfterBuzz kids. And you know that people have realized we say kids for the AfterBuzz hosts yeah. that we take care of and babies for our dogs. Yeah. So I already have that. We already have But them. I don't. I've never had a wife. Well, you have one now, boo. And that's that.